Hello and welcome back to another Kyle Connor YouTube channel video. Just a little fun evening adventure in the Nissan Leaf. Sometimes our electric car adventures mean driving from Germany to Norway, or it means from driving from New York to California. But a similar challenging adventure would be just driving our Leaf around town because of the range. But I promise you, I have been daily driving it. Again, the onboard charger is dead, so I have to rely on DC infrastructure to get around before I upgrade the onboard charger. Um, but I figured it'd be kind of fun, just a couple, you know, few minute little vlog with my Nissan Leaf, showing you my day-to-day -day life. And um, yeah, I ordered some pizza for dinner. Alyssa's with me, Blue is with me. They just called and said it's ready. So we're gonna unplug, go get pizza, probably come back here and then charge the thing pretty high up. For those of you who don't know, I recently bought the cheapest electric car for sale in America, and that was this Nissan Leaf, and I've just been seeing what it's like to live with it. Um, it was a previous total loss vehicle. It's got some aero modifications over here, but overall rock solid, 78,000 miles on it now nearly, and just been really driving it around town. Couldn't ask for anything better. Pretty much fresh tires. The battery pack's in fairly good health, about 66% state of health. So it's lost 33% capacity. Again, the early Leafs really have issues with degradation. This one's a 2012 air-cooled battery, but it's done pretty well. Done pretty well. Um, the car has sat outside, hey blue, for some time. So it's um, getting cold out. So the battery's quite chilly. So we're getting really slow charging speeds, only about 18 kilowatts here at 42 percent so what we're actually going to do is drive it to go get some pizza warm it up and then uh come back here and do a pretty much a full charge because i like to whenever i'm not doing anything at least get some juice in the battery because i like to drive it around and sometimes have to run errands that are far away so i try and keep some juice in the battery pack here Alyssa seems to be peeling off the rest of the tint on the windshield we did one side in a previous episode Nice, so now we have a non-tinted windshield, which I think we need to get the whole thing tinted, but that's for another day. So um, yeah, all we're gonna do is leave this charger, go get some pizza, come back, and then charge up the Leaf some more. Because yeah, we need some AC charging on this thing to make it really a usable product, and that's, that's the idea behind it. I wanna do a video upgrading the AC charger. Um, I also think the BMS is totally not calibrated because there's no way we're actually at 44%. We plugged in with like three miles remaining and we've only added two and a half kilowatt hours. The car just has no idea what's going on. So let's hit stop charging. Yes, let's go get some pizza in the Leaf. Well, we've just pulled out of where we've been charging and now we're heading into town to get some pizza. I'm really sensitive to all the DC fast chargers in the area, making sure they're up and running and everything is is good because of course I'm relying on our public infrastructure for this car to move around and it's public DC infrastructure since the AC charging doesn't work at all. But overall, I think just maybe a little update on the Leaf because this has been a really interesting car for me is I've genuinely been using it as much as possible and it's been really great. The thing is, um, I really don't need that much range out of the car, but I do wish I just could have it. Can you go back please? I do wish I could just have it fully charged all the time uh, in the morning so that way I can do more with it because occasionally I don't really get that much use out of the car when the battery starts to drop. I have to find, you know, maybe an hour where I have to edit videos and I can do it at a charging station or something where I can just be with the car at a Chatamo station and juice up. It's also, yeah, it's also a lot more expensive to DC charge the car than to AC charge the car all the time. And so that's just some things we're running into, but I'm gonna replace the onboard charger here pretty soon. Uh, so all we're gonna do is we have 18 miles of range in eco mode, 16 miles of range in normal drive. I tend to drive the car in eco mode most of the time. <laughs> yeah, I know that makes you upset. Blue likes to go fast. And um, yeah, gonna run into town. Heated seats on, climate control off. That is the leaf way. <laughs> What's he upset about? Blue, what you upset about, buds, huh? No pizza yet? <laughs> so yeah, really just really enjoying driving this thing. I can't wait till we have AC and DC charging. Then I can kind of just plug it in whenever the car is stopped and it'll become uh, very useful to me, I think. Um, but for now, just using it for as many trips as possible when I have juice and charging it up when I can. Take a look, just cruising down the road here, heading into downtown Fort Collins. And let's go pick up that pizza, hit the charger, 
and charge it up. Again, these are the most boring videos on YouTube. And making the red light sort of just in time, allegedly. And here we are, rolling up to the Pizza Caspa. Is that the name of it, Alyssa? Something like that. Oh, and look at this, perfect parking spot right in front. Boom, behind the sole. Let's lock this sucker in, parallel park this thing. We can actually use bumpers for what they're intended for on this car. Great backup camera, by the way. Really wonderful. No lag, just a video stream. Don't know why backup cameras need all that processing in new cars. Leaf's been doing it right. I'm gonna run in, grab the pizza. That's the spot right over here, Pizza Casba. And um, yeah, be back momentarily. Here it is, looking nice. Oh, check that thing out, Sheriff. That's sick. Got the pizza. Oh no, I'm gonna put this in the back so you can't get it. You stay there, don't jump out like you did last time. We have collected the pizza from Pizza Casba, or Caspa, how would you say that, Alyssa? Cas Caspa, Caspa, Well, we are pulling a full Nissan Leaf mode, saving the planet, don't pull us over. Just making new turns in the middle of the road. Here we go, wow, great throttle response when you have it out of eco mode in normal full performance mode. I can just kind of get it in and burn rubber. Traction control is on though. There we are, unleashing the power of the beast. Full send. Did you see how fast we were in front of us? No. You gotta point the camera that way when we're driving. Because no one wants to see me, they want to see what's coming up. Nothing. Nothing, I know. We gotta catch up to some people. Should we do a freaking blow by of the Sienna? I'm full set, baby. Everything she's got. Oh, sent it. <laughs> it wasn't actually a Sienna, but we'll let that one slide. Coming up to a red light using the really powerful racing performance upgrade brakes. It doesn't regen much, actually. Have you noticed that in your driving, Alyssa? I didn't think it had any regen. Right, well, it doesn't regen off throttle. It should do blended regen on the brakes, but it gives just like 10 kilowatts max. I've not seen more than 15 kilowatts over here with this little thing. So let's brake boost it, launch it, full beans, and rips, 50, 55, and 60. It's the best way to heat up the battery before fast charging it over some pizza. Now, typically Nissan Leaf drivers don't want to warm up the battery because it degrades it faster, but I actually need it to charge. Here's that sheriff vehicle. Isn't that thing sick? It has a 6.7 liter Ford engine in it because I can tell by the exhaust pipe. That thing, look at that. That thing is so freaking cool. Yeah. <laughs> you could like invade some countries with that. Yeah, if you want to. Is Just imagine in... that and the Nissan Leaf with a turret on the roof. Is it in use? Yeah, it's no, it's full use. It's not an after sales thing. What do we thing. need that here for? Well, Fort Collins is a dangerous place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very. And ripping it back over to the charging station. It's actually in a GMC dealer, and I believe they needed to put this in for the Hummer EV. I think they sold one Hummer EV to a guy in Wyoming. And uh, Sierra EV is coming, of course. I think it should all be revealed here pretty soon. That'll be exciting. Silverado, Sierra EV, all built on with Ultium stuff. Into park, parking brake on so we don't shear off the parking paw. Um, battery pack temperature stayed the same on the screen here, but I think the middle bit is like... You got, that's a big temperature window. I know, buddy. You're gonna open the charging flap, get it charging, and then we'll have some pizza. The charger has been activated. The Chatamo port goes in. And let's see what our peak charging rate will be now that we warmed up the battery pack. 39 kilowatts, 47 kilowatts, 48. So it just needed to be ripped. No, don't stop charging. 48 kilowatts, nice. So maybe the state of charge was correct. Maybe it just uh, needed to really, maybe the leaf just hides like a few big buffer down there or something. But I got the pizza in the back hidden under a shelf so Blue can't get to it. This is the perfect pizza hauler because there's a rear partition back here. See this shelf? He can't see the pizza. And there it is, it fits perfectly. So we'll enjoy some pizza. Maybe he'll run around the parking lot a little bit and we'll juice this thing up. Not Does not charge fast as all, right Blue? It's a really slow charging car because I bet we're already off 50 kilowatts. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're at 37 and it's back and it's, it's way down. <laughs> Just the nature of the leak. Cheers. We're at 50% state of charge. We're down to 16 kilowatts. 
and I think we're gonna go home before we get a high state of charge because my phone's at 1% and Blue just drooled all over you. He's and still, he's still drooling. drooling all over you. Oh my God, show everyone. Boopies, are you drooling on me? You do's in a drools, mm. Mm. Because it is. <laughs> just a bite. Just a bite. Just, just a, that's a big bite. <laughs> Are you gonna eat that now? What? Are you sure? No. <laughs> Why? Well, this is about all the charging my phone has battery for and patience for. No, I did not bring a charger with me. So 55%, that's fine. I can run some errands and then maybe sometime later this week or something like that, I can bring the car back here and we'll leave it and let it full charge and then I'll have more use. So out we go with the Chatamo adapter. 12 minutes, not a bad one. At least the leaf isn't dead anymore. Back to home we go. End vlog. The least informative and useful video on YouTube is ending now.